Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to tell you this guys, but um, coconut oil is a poison. Yes, it's very, very dangerous. I know it's been given to a lot of cultures over the last 2000 years and they didn't have a problem, but so it's now just been recognized by the experts that it is very, very dangerous. Okay, guys, coconuts are only dangerous if they're traveling at your head and you don't duck, okay? That's the only danger in a coconut. Guys, let me just show you why they, who well, I'm just trying to figure who they is, consider coconut oil a poison because it's a saturated fat. Now they didn't do studies on having you consume coconut oil and having it cause heart attack. No, they just ignored that link and went right to the saturated fats. Okay, because everyone knows that consuming saturated fats will clog your arteries and cause coronary heart disease. I mean, that's a fact, right? That is an example of false data, okay? That is false information. Now, the American Heart Association blasted out there to all the physicians that um, you need to start replacing the saturated fat type products with the vegetable oils, okay? So that's kind of like the, the new thing. Um, but what they ignored is these three very large studies, the Minnesota Coronary Survey Experiment, the Sydney Study, and the Women's Health Initiative. I'm gonna put the links down below so you can check them out because these major studies um, do not show this link at all, okay? They show that it, there is not a link there. And there's a lot more as well. Now, let's just switch over to the true information, okay? Coconut oil is 70% medium chain triglycerides. These type of fats are very, very different. They're used to make energy. They're used to be converted to ketones for energy. Um, and they bypass the gallbladder. So it's really a low stress fat for the liver and the gallbladder. 50% of coconut oil is lauric acid, which has amazing antimicrobial properties. It's great for the immune system. And by the way, some of the studies that the American Heart Association use to uh, prove this link is they're not just using saturated fats. These diets were also higher carbohydrate diets. And if you mix higher carbohydrates with high protein or fat, you're gonna get this result right here. It's the carbohydrate, okay? It's the sugar. Here's the truth. The coconut oil industry did not pay off, I'm sorry, sponsor the American Heart Association. Like some of the other industries, like the food industry and the drug industry, which basically spent $521 million. That was in actually 2011 and 2012. I'm not sure what it is now, but they basically spent a lot of money to get the stamp of approval, okay? And there's something else called the Heart Check Food Certification, where the American Heart Association basically endorses um, different products that they are heart healthy. And I think they have to spend something like $700,000 a year just to have that endorsement. Anyway, you don't have to worry about coconut oil being poisonous. It's actually very, very healthy. It's been around for a long time. And there's also quite a few studies that show that it actually lowers your cholesterol. I'm gonna put those links down below.